You're watching TSU TV 98, brought to you by the Department of Communications in the College of Liberal Arts at Tennessee State University in Nashville, Tennessee. Next on Live at 5, Tragedy on the Field, the play that took down one of TSU's beloved stars. Plus, are you one of the 2.3 million people sleeping with the disease? Here are the top three STDs that could possibly be creeping on TSU's campus. Your TSU TV News 98 Live at 5 starts now. Live from the campus of Tennessee State University in Nashville, this is TSU TV News 98 Live at 5. Good evening and welcome to TSU TV News 98 Live at 5. I'm Jalen Level. And I'm Rashawn Hangs. First tonight, a beloved TSU football player is still in critical condition. Last Saturday, the Tigers took on the Vanderbilt Commodores there on West End. Christian Abercrombie suffered from a serious head injury and is still in the hospital tonight. Sports anchor Cameron Johnson will have more details coming up in the next 15 minutes. Sexual health on college campuses is an important issue as sexually transmitted disease rates all reach an all-time high. The CDC says there are 2 million new recorded cases. These cases are among young adults ages 15 to 25 years old. Students tell us they believe the increase may be a result of people being unaware of STD prevention and the resources available. If you have questions, ask an ex expert at the TSU's Health Service Facility. Several TSU students are complaining about their lack of access to the university's most popular dining choice. Their concerns include some safety problems. News 98's Leona Dunn has the story. All year, students have been walking from the board entrance of the cafeteria to a locked gate in hopes that one day it will be used. That's not including residence life, one-stop shop, and the dean of student employees that work on the side of the calf that denies entry. The problem with the gates being closed is that it's very inconvenient. I just walked all the way over here and they're not even open. So what's the point of them being here? So why are they there? Employees first stated that there weren't enough staff to work the other side, but with increased employment and decreased student activity, it didn't add well, up. Well, the most important thing is that the gate being closed is a fire hazard because there's only one way in, to, uh, one way into the cab and then one way out. And clearly there's supposed to be two ways, two entrances, two exits. Also, it denies us access from the mailroom side where many people on campus are coming to the student center from their dorms on that side. And it's unnecessary for everyone to have to walk to one side of the building to get inside the cab. Unnecessary. That's what some employees felt the other side was. Unnecessary. These doors also used to be open but because students were sneaking their friends right in front of the employees they now remain locked sneaking in students is not a reason or excuse given for why the gates are now locked the official reason given to us by the gm of airmark is traffic control so until we find ways to safely control traffic on both sides it looks like students will be walking this year for tsu tv 98 I'm Leona Dunn. Nashville hosted their annual lupus walk at Shelby Park this past Saturday. Before the walk, participants had the opportunity to learn things about this disease that a lot of people know very little about. Many organizations from Tennessee State University were a part of this walk, including Women of Empowerment and the Positivity Board. Event organizers used the walk as a way to bring awareness to this disease and walk for those who cannot walk for themselves. Still ahead on TSU TV News 98 Live at 5, firefighters rescue trapped bear cubs. And police face pushback over the use of a low-flying helicopter. That and your TSU forecast is coming up. This is TSU TV News 98 Live at 5. Well, Steffi, has certainly been sunny today. Yes, it yeah. has. It's been so warm. Right. When is fall happening? Well, it's not going to be happening this week. It's going to be really sunny and warm. I love okay. it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> love it. I love it. All right. So going into this week, we have sunny days ahead of us. It will be staying warm, and there will be no rain this week, hopefully. Tonight, it's going to be mostly clear around 70 degrees, and then going into tomorrow, it will be around 69 degrees. There's going to be a 20% chance 
of shower and thunderstorms going into the afternoon. And then going into this week, it's going to be around 86 degrees Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It'll be mostly clear, uh, partly cloudy on Friday. And then going into next week, it'll be mostly sunny in the morning and then become partly cloudy. Highs will be in the upper 80s. Tuesday, it will be sunny in the morning and then become partially cloudy. Highs will be around 81 degrees. And then going into Tuesday evening, it will be partially cloudy with a low temperature of 69 degrees. It will be an average humidity of 78. It could be foggy Wednesday morning, so please be careful when you're driving to school. Wow, foggy, that's a new one. Yeah, yeah. there's your fall weather. Yeah, as long <laughs> Close as it doesn't enough. rain, I'm okay. Still ahead on TSU TV News 98, live at 5. TSU and Vandy both came together on the field Saturday for Beloved Tiger. More updates to come on Christian Abercrombie. Next on TSU TV News 98, live at 5. <laughs> We're conducting research in plant nutrition management to feed the future in a sustainable way. Tennessee State University and the College of Business have given me an abundance of opportunities to travel the world and enhance myself as a business professional. At Tennessee State University, we learn to transform the world with technology. Providing health care for the community. At Tennessee State University, excellence is becoming a great musician. Excellence is our habit at Tennessee State University. Now, Tiger Talk on TSU TV News 98. Welcome back, TSU. Today in Tiger Talk, he's a TSU alumni who's become a Nashville city leader. Not only is he alumni, he is a gentry. Mr. <laughs> Howard Gentry, can you please let um, our students know what you do in your position? Yes, sure. I'm the criminal court clerk mm -hmm. of Davidson County and uh, in that job. We do numerous things. We're basically responsible for handling all the um, <clears throat> all of the records of the criminal court, mm -hmm. which is a massive amount of records. We have a couple warehouses, and unfortunately, we still have to keep paper. So yeah. uh, we handle the records, but uh, we do collections of court costs, expungement of records, uh, driver's license issues. The okay. whole works. There are a lot of positions that people are going to need to vote for for this next midterm election. Can you tell us what inspired you to actually run for office? Well, I've been involved in politics my entire life. My uh, parents, uh, my mother especially, was involved. My dad was too busy coaching football and <laughs> and then as athletics director taking care of the athletic program. We thank but him. He, yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> but he was uh, a community leader too. But my mother was involved in athletics and uh, I mean in uh, election in ca in politics mm -hmm. and across the street from me was Inez Crutchfield who also worked at Tennessee State University who was very involved and uh, I was just around them all the time and and got the bug and and so um, I was involved in in elections and campaigns but deep in my 30s mm -hmm. um, I was convinced to run by one person and uh, he's deceased now, and the guy that I grew up with and and uh, told me I should run, and I ran for, I was getting ready to run for uh, the district here, uh, 21st District, but a good friend of mine, a TSU graduate, was running, so I didn't want to run against, against him. him. So yeah. I ran for at large, I won, and and it's been uh, it's been history since the last 20 years. A lot of students feel like their their vote isn't important. Like they say, if I vote, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. What would you say to like students to that, especially in these local elections that well, we have coming up? Well, I will tell you this: that if you don't vote, um, it's not important, and you become less important because uh, you, you really didn't put any skin in the game. And I want to say that a lot of people talk about this generation. This generation really doesn't vote a lot, but that excuse, and I call it an excuse. Uh, has been going on for decades, for generations. So it didn't just start with uh, students in, in your generation. Mm -hmm. The fact is your vote does count. Uh, I'm, the Af I'm the first African-American elected countywide here in Nashville, and that was in 1999, and they said it couldn't be done. Yeah. But uh, on the, on the uh, night that I got elect elected, the African-American vote um, uh, helped me to win. 
Uh, now with only 28% of the population, uh, you need uh, votes outside the African American community yeah. too. But the day that it really counted was when I won vice mayor. And uh, they had to close the polls down an hour late because in our community, people were wrapped around the polls and had the African American vote not come out, uh, I would not have won. Mm -hmm. And along with Carolyn Tucker, who also, uh, she was not vice mayor, but she was elected with me uh, at large. And uh, she's a TSU graduate. Okay. Well, since us, now there's 16 African Americans uh, elected countywide, so that makes 16. a difference. All yes. Right, okay. Well, you guys heard it here first. There are 16 African American House members voted wide, and we're going to make sure we get more. We're going to thank Mr. Howard Gentry for being with us today um, and letting us know why it is important for you to vote, especially November 6th. We, we, we're going to let you guys know more about people on the ballots there. Join us this time next week for more news you can use in Tiger Talk. And stay with us because sports is coming up next. Thank you. Now, sports on TSU TV News 98. Tennessee State's University's football team is hoping for the best for one of our players injured in Saturday's game. Christian Abercrombie is in critical condition at Vanderbilt Medical after the injury during the game last week at Vanderbilt Stadium. The NAACP approved a GoFundMe account to be set up to assist Christian's family with medical costs. You can contribute the funds on the website on the screen. TSU Athletics in the is the only ent entity permitted to solicit funds for him per NCCP regulations. Tennessee State University softball team played their first fall ball game this past Sunday, suffering a close 4-3 loss to the Cumberland Phoenix. They are scheduled to play their next game at Lipsum on Wednesday, October 10th at 5.30 p.m. The Tennessee Titans are hanging on to the top of their AFC South after a nail-biter win last weekend. Quarterback Marcus Mariota scored the Titans' first touchdown carrying in the end zone himself. The Titans' defense contributed with some major stops, and kicker Ryan Sakop helped save the day with some clutch kicks. The Eagles stayed in the game, tying the score with a last-minute fourth-quarter field goal. In overtime, the Eagles scored first, but only with a field goal, the Titans answered the game with the winning touchdown, 26-23. The Titans next face the Bills in Buffalo Sunday at noon. Unfortunate. Wow, that's unfortunate to hear about definitely, Abercrombie. Definitely. Prayers go out to him and exactly. his family. Definitely. No, definitely. Must be hard on his mom. It's, yeah, sure. It's cruciating. Yeah. Coming up, a new museum is open in Alabama. See how it's remembered? The Forgotten. Then, and your latest entertainment news is next. Now, your entertainment news on TSU TV 98. Super exciting news in the entertainment world. One of the most famous car chases in movie history hits the theaters a half a century ago, and now it's coming back to you. And Janelle Monet is working hard on the big screen. This past Saturday, students from TSU's Africana Studies classes took a trip to Montgomery, Alabama to the new Legacy Museum. The trip was designed for students to learn some truths about African American history and what we should do as our generation grows to combat the cycle of modern enslavement. There will be another chance to attend again on November 10th. So be there, be square. That's all we have for the entertainment world this Wednesday. How interesting is that? Yeah. I wish I my swear. classes took me places. I just died in Alabama. It was a great learning experience for them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I wish I had that. That's all we have for this edition of TSU TV 98 Live at 5. Join us this time next week for more TSU news you can use. Good night. <laughs>